Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a PSA before this video. I had another one that was at the beginning of the video while I was editing, but the more I was editing, I had to delete that one and post this one now as the new opening. So, for this shoot, we were done shooting the video that's actually coming out after this. And we decided to stay in the Xbox Party Chat, which was kind of a mistake on both of our parts. I mean, we always have something fault happen. But sometimes, most of the time, I don't put a disclaimer. This time, it's meaningful. Because Eric didn't end up adjusting his audio, and then I decided not to do a Zoom call. So... Early on, or like there are certain times where you catch us having conversations about stuff enough, but a good amount of it is covered up by a lot of the loud music and sound effects. So uh, you're not missing much. Um, it's This game is very self-explanatory. There's some jokes, some highbrow humor that might be covered up. Um, and then just general topics here and there about the game uh, and other things surrounding it. So... Uh, yeah, sorry. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Take a look at this. Warhammer 40k. Full gun. Yeah, well, you want to stop until I do the one, two, three? Oh, damn it. Okay, here I go again. <laughs> Dear Lord. Eric, what are we doing here in this um, beautiful dungeon? Brian is a thing for making me play uh, games that have like an 8-bit style or a 16-bit style. This is like the second time, okay? Brian has this trend of making me play games in an 8-bit or 16-bit style. That wasn't even the last game I made you play. Wasn't it Brothers the last time? No. Oh, that was Scorn, you time. dummy. God, I'm like, you forgot it the last to lat, and now you forgot it this to lat. Scorn, I still love you. You're great. But apparently, my memory, I, I, I guess it's not that great. You said, yeah. let's do a thousand gamer score, and then I will forget about you again. Forever. I even did videos for it on Channel BK. Warhammer 40k Bullgun, goddammit. I was excited about this game when I saw clips from it. Uh... A guy who is so great and he's in the gaming scene, Raul from iZombie. He actually does the voice of the character in this when he does his taunts. Is so he that's the bolt gun? Yeah, yes, he every time the bolt gun fires, it's like high on life where the guns talk to you the whole time. Oh uh, good. <laughs> but yeah, it's it this game is legitimately nothing more than a boomer shooter. It has a great style, the game plays boomer. Awesome. the sound yep, the sound effects are great. Um, and the music's pretty dope. And apparently this game just got me into Warhammer because I didn't really know a lot about it. And now I want to buy a copy of the first Space Marine. And then I really want to get the second one when it comes out at the end of this year. So now I'm making Eric play because it's on Game Pass. And I feel like there's not going to be a lot of commentary. Just him killing a bunch of shit. So, um, I just gave up saying? trying to do this on the hardest difficulty because I got to the oh, third yeah. level and I got stuck, so I'm like, I guess I won't beat it on the hardest difficulty. So, so difficulty-wise, would you say, you know, it's like Doom in the sense that even on like a medium difficulty, it's a little bit of a challenge? Yeah, I'd say so. I definitely feel like I got stuck at a lot of points because there's a lot of like ammo, like um, management, um, well, it, Nothing. And then the maps, the way that they're the designed, kind of has that old school remains um, layer to it. You are under the dominion of the Ordo Manius to assist my investigations yes. into a world that has already been that damn infinite. Cutscenes. They're yeah. following uh, uh, TikTokers. I'm honestly like, every time we play on PlayStation, we're immediately able to we react, were. but we have we to do watch not know the screen how far the much, which is a challenge. So, I'm probably a few seconds behind. So, uh, well, it's still cutscenes, Brian. Oh, well, hello, sir. That's big hands. Oh, hell yeah. That's my favorite parking spot. I don't know what this thing does. 
Oh, I can shove. Awesome. It's always good when you can jump in a game. You know? Oh, yeah, all my friends are dead. Hell yeah. That <laughs> pushed me to that edge. All my friends are dead. Ah! Okay. I am an executioner of the Emperor. Uh oh, there's Wow, I'm always my brother's crowd. Hell yeah. I like how there's a sprint in this game. Yeah. And again, it makes you feel like you're too funky. Like, it, they did a really good job. Of that. Uh, bottom left, Skull Sister Health, and then, uh, Hemp, which is your shield. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Jumping around. Oh, yeah. And again, just like with Doom, if you pick up the little health, that gives you health, but you only can pick up the big health if like you need it, if you're under a certain amount. Um, same thing, I think, with Contempt as well. But... Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it's just like a super gory, super fine, but again, it's just, it is what it is, and I... Who even needs a gun? Yeah, Pretty much. Maybe I'm the hardest difficult. Because, yeah, I don't think you could do well because you're gonna you're gonna run into some harder enemies, more difficult enemies, enemies with uh, more uh, shield and health. So. I assume, yeah, so you have to push the button to then zoom in there before the door shuts. Got it. And, and yep, key, and yep, you pick up keys, because once again, that is also the typical boomer shooter mentality. Find colored keys. We did Quake 2, which also has that. Check that out. <laughs> I said activate. I want to just give you a little bit of, wow. I want to give you an experience of like different enemies, different weapons that you unlock. But yeah, it's just like, you go on a map, there'll be moments like this where you stuck in a horror game But when you're stuck in a Again, it's, it, it's doing nothing more than what it is. And there's not as many games like this that you really see. Like, there's not a lot of games just straight up boomer shooters, and I commend them for that. And it's a long game, too, for what it is. It's like, it should be like ah, a good six hours or so to beat it, a little more than six hours. So there's a lot wow. going on. But not enough to 100% it. I, I was sucking ass on that hard difficulty, so. I got contempt. Mm -hmm. So now you have some shield. I love the little flame that follows you. That follows you through every single mission. I got all the kills. So yeah, secrets will give you very different things. Where like you will use ammo, or give you better health, 
will make it to where all of your kills are like immediate, like one shot, one kill. There's like cool different grenades you can get, um, a bunch of stuff. It's, it's really cool. It max out your ammo, all that. So um, I feel like some of the secrets early on are very easy to find, and I'm excited to you will get your hands on those as well. So, dirty my hands up. I'm going this way. I guess I'm not going this way. Can't squeeze uh, through there now. I'm a big boy, what can I say? I guess I'm going this way. The lunge oh, yeah. that that does is so cool. <laughs> it just locks on. It's like all the jokes that people have when uh, Across the Spider-Verse came out, and they're like, could Insomniac Spider-Man beat Miles, and it's Miles looking up, and he sees the, the combo prompt on his head. <laughs> oh, God. like one that adds like a chain uh, gun like, to the bottom of it. I went in here and picked up a key. More grenades. Oh, I'm full on grenades. There you go, pal. He, he like got me. He like went to the
that might be like extra damage. Oh, it's extra instant kill. kill. Yeah. It's like Chaos Marine. gives you a bigger clip. Because I think you usually have 25 and that's 45. So I think it just gives you more than 45. I feel like it. I was actually about to start losing health. Oh no. I was very confused because he said that, and when I finally saw what happened, I was confused how that even happened.
Wait, so then if you kill a pink one, it becomes two blues. And so what does that mean, like, metaphorically? Um, if you kill a woman, you become two fun. men? <laughs> Two gay fun. guys turn into a woman. Why do they have? Do they have to be gay? No, but you know, logically, yeah. Highbrow scientific. Officer, that I knew oh. I was. I was like, there's got to be someone I was forgetting. You know what that guy was singing? You know what he was singing? You know what he was singing? You know what he was singing? What was he singing?
I just, I, I love how this just goes random moments when, yeah. like, I need a, I need a good one-liner. I a need a good one-liner, yeah. <laughs>
sure did. There is a new weapon on that platform in the middle. I'm not gonna like be like so to get it now, but if you have the opportunity. down this hole. God damn it.
there's another health pack. That's cool. Now. But I'm also keeping myself there. This reality, he survived. Well, how about this planet? I protect his sacrifice. There's the exit. <sighs> so, I missed one person. How are we feeling, Eric? We digging it. Time. We're not digging it. This is a good time. I'm glad it's not. Like, I was always hoping it'd be on Game Pass, but then I just got really excited and wanted to buy it because it was on a good sale. And I'm glad that I purchased it for because I only got it for like 13 bucks. And I think this is, again, it's not a short game. Like, it actually has a lot of meat to it. And you're still, like, at the beginning of weapons, enemies, like, you still have so much more you get to uh, see. And, like, even the secrets, like, one of the secrets is a grenade that's basically, like, an atom bomb where it's, like, a bigger radius and more damage. It's not, like, that ridiculous, but it's, like, more damage, bigger blast radius, all that stuff. Um, you can definitely tell them I'm about to hit something. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for, thank you for playing this, you know? Technically, you could have just said, no, I refuse to play this. <laughs> I oh, could have done that. It's true. Uh, yeah, so, you know, play Final Fantasy VII Remake last time, I was doing that research while, um, you were playing this. I knew How it could was, you already? I was uh, how could I what? How could I already be forgetting? Yeah. I'm old. It's not like okay. we didn't shoot that pretty recently. It's true. I'm old. You know. Uh, it, red. Well, on that note, like, comment, subscribe, everyone. Eric's gonna possibly play this game and possibly talk about it in June or July when we do our mid-year backlog. <laughs> We'll see. Um, but yeah, check out all the episodes. And uh, yeah, until next time. Red key. That was delayed. I don't care.